and we change it to satin stitch. Now we don't want the angles running that way so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the sewn attributes box I just clicked on the top there and I'm just going to change the angle to get them running across my petal like that that's fine let's just zoom out a little bit more actually we'll have it full screen move that one over now we can right click and we can duplicate and then with it selected we can go up and use the rotate so this is all exactly the same but watch what happens as I'm turning this round my stitch angles are changing we no longer have to go in and automatically change every single one in previous versions when you've rotated that your stitch angles would stay the same as they were in the previous one but now they will automatically change without me doing anything even though they've automatically changed if we zoom in on that that isn't quite exactly across the petal as I would like so, so we might still need to just go into the sewn attributes and just change that by a couple of degrees to get it exactly across if we want to so we can just move the degrees just go over to your design I don't need to say apply or anything at the bottom as we have done in previous versions whatever we do in here will automatically change what if we've got that one selected it won't change that one we want that one changed we just select it and go in and just move it and it will automatically you don't have to hover over the top either you could you just move it and it will change the stitch angle so you don't have to say apply that will be the same if you were changing the density anything you're doing in the sewn attributes box will now change automatically on the part you've got selected without you having to say apply so that's just a few changes in there the rest of the lesson will work exactly the same way but just as long as you're aware of that something else that is slightly different in here if we go to the sew in order box if we wanted to select that part we can now right click and then we can select and then you get your select handles so that has changed whereas we used to be able to just click on it and it would select we need to right click and select the other thing you'll notice is in the other versions you used to have various information across the bottom here one of which would be the change color what we do now is we just select in the top there and we can change color in this box we don't have the thread color along the bottom so those are just a couple of the things that have changed in version 8 one thing that I would suggest you do is just check to see go to your help about layout and editing and just make sure that you've got version 803 or a later version I'm recording this while it's in 803 but it's always worth going to the brother.com website and just checking for the latest update because it does fix certain glitches that are in the software I hope that will help you follow the simple starter videos and it just gives you a little overview of the, some of the changes and things that you're going to notice when you first open version 8